Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another video. In today's episode, we're going to be learning about Go, specifically interface types. But before talking about interface types, we need to define what is a type. And in Go, a type is a way to represent a state or behavior. There are basic types like strings, numeric, that include integers, uh, pointers, flo floats, uh, and complex types. And depending on the size that you want to store, you may select different types like int 8 or int 64. And there are also booleans that represent a true or false value. There are other types like runes or bytes, but those are aliases to the numeric types. So that's why I'm not mentioning them. There is also this concept of composite types, like a pointer, like a map, like a function, a slice, an array, a channel, and the one that we're going to be discussing even more this time, an interface. I'm mentioning all of this because the functions and methods apply to types. They don't necessarily, in the case of functions, and the case of you don't necessarily have to pass in a type, or rather a value of a type, but in the case of methods, those are associated to the type that it belongs to. Let's look at this code, for example. There is this type called priority, which happens to be using an int 8. That means that everything that is going to be stored for this priority will be using int 8 as the capacity of the values that it's going to be supporting. We are implementing a method called a string that happens to be returning a string, and we are doing a type conversion. The reason we are doing this is that although we define priority as an int 8, what happens in Go is that the value of int 8 the, is not compatible with priority when you are trying to assign variables of those, the, the, those two types. You can assign an int 8 value to a priority variable, but you cannot assign a previously instantiated int 8 into a priority. And I will give uh, in the description a link to a play uh, playground uh, example that you can run and you can see what I mean with this. What I want you to pay attention more is that uh, besides the doing this uh, switch and type cast, type conversion, uh, there is these three lines down here that happen to be the important bit about this video, that we are calling a string in, two di in three different ways, and I want to show you why this is important. First, let's look at p dot string. This is a method. We are defining we define a string method and we are using the variable that we defined before called p and we are calling that method. There is also this thing called a function. And in this case, if you notice, this is a, one of those things that not everybody knows, but a function is using the type as a way to link between the type that was defined as a method and the first value that you're passing in. So if you notice, Methods are functions that happen to be receiving behind the scenes as the first argument, the value of the type that is implementing that said method. So that's why above you can see that p dot string is actually doing the same as the thing that we are doing right here. It's calling priority dot the string and passing in the value of p. And last one we have this thing called print ln p that doesn't really indicate anything and if you're familiar with the phone package when we're using println what basically is trying to do is trying to find a way to print out the value to standard output something that more or less represents so, uh, the actual value of that type so why is it printing out high this is where interfa interface types comes into place an interface type is a set of method signatures it could be one, it could be 100, it's up to the, the interface type itself. And it can hold a value of a, that interface type, can hold any or any value that happens to implement those methods. And again, I want to highlight that we're talking about methods. So when we are talking about methods, we need to define a type. So you cannot use interfaces with functions only. You need to use a, you need to implement a type that happens to be implementing those methods in order to define an interface. Let's go back to the code that we I was showing you before, and I want to uh, highlight this. So why is this working? Well, we have a type that is implemented in the phone package called a stringer, and that stringer, what it does is that it defines a, a method called a string, and that happens to return a string. And any type that implements this interface uh, will be used uh, or rather, the met if the type implements that interface, that value that is returned by that type will be used as the result when calling from print or println, depending on the conf on the configuration that that we are having. Uh, 
So what this mean, means in practice is that interfaces are implicit. If you're familiar with other programming languages, you may recall that when those have interfaces, there is usually a keyword like implements or extends that allows you to explicitly implement the interface that you are referring to. In Go, that doesn't happen. Everything is sort of implicit. So that way, when we are implementing an interface, uh, you don't have to explicitly import that interface that where it was defined. You literally ha can define the methods on your on your side of the package. And if you are happen to be implementing the same method that the interface on the other side of the package implements, then you will be implementing that set interface. And a better example that again, I will leave, leave, leave in the link in the description is how we're doing the to-do microservice. I don't know if you're familiar with that uh, series. Uh, when we have the services, the services implement uh, define uh, some different interface types like the data stores, for example. And we are referring to the interface type, not the concrete implementation that happens to be, you know, a, for example, Postgres or, or the Kafka producer, those kind of things. And this is a cool thing. And this is why you, some, you won't be able ever to see a package that only implements interfaces, for example. There are the interfaces are usually located next to where they are being used, which in the ca case of the standard library, in the case of the phone package, you will notice that the stringer belongs to the phone package itself. So what does it mean in practice? So this is polymorphism in real life in Go. It is a way to define different behavior, defining as a contract, a set of methods, an interface type that you can use in your code in a different way. So this actually opens um, the bag or the opens the possibilities to a lot of things because now like that we're talking about types, what about the interface, empty interface? What about the nil interface? What about type assertions? And what about all the other things that you can do with interface and types? Well, I will be covering those in a different episode, but for now, I just want to leave you with this idea of inter interface types and how you can use them when building programs in Go. So if you have any questions or any comments, just let me know. I'm always willing to help you in any way I can. Take care and see you later.